Pixar in a world of Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Go, CBS All Access, and many others, is there really room for another streaming service? When it's backed by Disney, the answer is yes, especially if you have kids, or if you're a fan of Marvel, Star Wars, and Pixar. Though no official date has been announced yet, Disney plans to launch its Disney streaming service later in 2019. Wait a minute, you might be thinking. Aren't all of the Disney movies on Netflix anyway? Why would I need to subscribe to another service? Check again, because Disney ended its relationship with the streaming giant at the end of 2018, and new releases and titles like Moana and Coco are leaving the site as Disney prepares for the launch of Disney. So, what will be available once Disney gets going? Information is coming out in bits and pieces, but here is everything we know so far. There is no official launch date, or price, but it'll probably be cheaper than Netflix. I hope they come out with this information soon, though, because as the mom of a three-year-old and wife of a die-hard Star Wars fan, I know I'll be shelling out whatever they want, and I need to start budgeting for it now. However, it looks like it might not hurt that much, Robert Iger, Disney's CEO, said on an investor call that the plan on the Disney side is to price this substantially below where Netflix's market watch reports. It'll have plenty of new releases, plus some original shows and movies. In addition to the old favorites leaving Netflix, Disney has a lot in the works that'll really beef up the streaming offerings. Here is what's been confirmed. Disney Live Action, Disney Animation, and Pixar According to Variety, all new Disney Live Action and Animated Movies, starting with this year's Dumbo, will be available through the site. Pixar Movies starting with Toy Story 4 will be on the service. There may also be a TV series based on Monsters, Inc. in the works. The High School Musical franchise will also be available there, if there's still any Wildcats fans on the prowl. Star Wars Though none of the Star Wars movies released before 2019 will make it to the site before launch, all of the movies starting with Star Wars, Episode 9 will be there. Star Wars, The Clone Wars will be revived with a new season, much to the delight of fans devastated by its cancellation. A big-budget, limited-episode, live-action show called The Mandalorian will be shepherded by the Lion King remake director John Favreau. Diego Luna will star in a live-action Rogue One prequel series. Marvel Captain Marvel will be the first MCU film to be featured on this site. A live-action Loki series starring Tom Hiddleston will launch on the service. Rumors have also circulated about a Scarlet Witch series and a Falcon Winter Soldier series, too, but those haven't been confirmed. People are hoping that, in the future, Disney will also revive the Marvel shows that Netflix cancelled, like Daredevil, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, but that still remains to be seen. Original movies and shows the site will feature new live-action movies including a Noel, starring Anna Kendrick and Bill Hader, and Togo, an action movie about dog sledding, starring Willem Dafoe. Tom McCarthy, the director of Spotlight, is developing a live-action movie based on the Timmy Failure books. Remakes include a new version of Lady and the Tramp starring Justin Thoreau and Janelle Monet, as well as a possible remake of The Sword in the Stone. A Stairgirl movie, starring Grace Vanderwall, winner of America's Got Talent, is also planned. And there's plenty more being developed and announced as fall 2019 nears. We'll try to keep this as up-to-date as possible as new movies and series get confirmed.